I'm going to show you really quickly how to enroll a new VIP through your back office. So I just logged in up at the top here under enroll. We're going to click enroll VIP. Scroll down here a bit. As you can see, it already has their registration in here. Um, so you don't have to add that to the cart. It automatically does. So then you're going to add the products that they mentioned to you to their cart. So we're going to be emailing it to them. So let's find a shampoo. We're going to go with Renew Shampoo. Let's add a conditioner. Let's do Revitalize. And then let's say a styling product. <clears throat> let's do the blowout cream. Okay. So we've hit the $84 threshold, <clears throat> and then it's going to ask you to add on the only for you option. This month there's only one, but sometimes there's more than one, so you only have one to select here. Okay, and you can see it's automatically um, adjusting the discounts. Um, and then up here it says you're automatically discounted 15%. If you were to add more to your cart, it would subtract even more um, with those discount thresholds. So we're going to click continue. Um, you can, if there's a sale or something going on, it would ask you um, to add those on. We're not going to worry about that. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so the next screen is to create their flagship. So what I do is for the date, I usually just do the last possible date. Um, so like the every other month. So right now that option is the 19th. And then just to set up their flagship, knowing that they can always go back in and change the products, I always add the oil because the oil is already $84, which needs to be their minimum for their flagship. So I just tell them, like, you know, I just put the oil in there um, just to get your flagship set up, set up, but just know that you can always go in and change the products and change the date. Although the oil is a great option to be their next flagship because usually people can't afford it to add it on when they're first enrolling. So, you know, this is just a good thing to add on anyway. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is click save and email it to them. I don't go and do anything else because that's all personal information. I know some people ask for their name, um, you know, credit card information, but I just, I personally wouldn't wanna be asked for that. I just would rather do it myself. So you can, go to the next page and enter it in yourself if you already have that information, but I just let them do it themselves. So I click save, and then enter in their email address. And it's gonna email you a copy too, and you click save and it sends it to them. And you need to make sure and tell them that they're going to be getting an email that says it's from Vibe or Vibe Office. Sometimes it does go into their junk mail folder, so make sure that you let them know that. I'm sorry, you guys, my internet. We live in the country, so. <laughs> All right, well, you get the idea. It just goes back to the main screen after you click Save. Um, so again, make sure to follow up that they've gotten the email. Only send it once. If you do send it again, then they're not able to log in and fill out the cart information with that first email. It gets a little confusing, so just send it once. Tell them to check their junk mail folder, okay?